What up? I'm Chef Papelka, and this is the Braves Tama Blog. John Coppolella just resigned in disgrace, and I know I have to make a video about this, and I am going to try not to talk too fast. Uh, I'm going to try not to complain, and I'm going to try not to freak out. Uh, for one, I'm sorry I haven't been making videos for a while, and I would sit here and tell you guys about the busiest semester of my life. As you guys can tell, I moved, uh, and so this is not how I meant to make my first video back in a couple months, uh, but I have to. I, I can't not talk about John Coppolella resigning in disgrace. Um, and I'm sure that you guys are feeling a lot of emotions. For one, I not all the information has surfaced, uh, but I have to make this video now because I have a quiz in two hours, tomorrow I have two tests, and the day after that I have a big essay due. So I have to do this now, and I'm going to do everything I can to get this video out as quickly as possible. But, okay, so we resigned in disgrace, and I'm incredibly shocked and disappointed because I liked him, and I, I really thought that he was the guy, and I thought that he was going to be the general manager of the Braves for at least a decade or two decades and he was going to be the guy that gets us from Frank Wren uh, to you know the World Series and he's not gonna be that he's gonna be gone uh, and and the writing you know is somewhat clear now because one of the things that I wanted to talk about as I've been super busy is that I haven't liked how the front office has been operating uh, sketchy things were going on with the firings and the new hirings of these guys from the Mets and like the Rangers or something like that. Why was th were things getting shaken up? Why were the why was the British front office so in control of the team on the field? Uh, why were we making Brandon Phillips switch positions? Uh, why were we uh, starting guys like Jim Johnson uh, and these guys like Sean Rodriguez? Why were we making them? Uh, start over younger guys and, and then pulling the older guys back once we didn't trade them or once we decided we weren't going to trade them. Why were they so pulling the strings on Brian Snicker all year? I didn't like it at all because Snicker had to do whatever they told him to do or else they would fire him. I didn't like any of that and it was not a good thing for your front office to be controlling the product on the field like that. That's not what got him fired and that's the thing is that like when I got the update that said John Coppola was going to resign I thought this is a a new startup type of situation where uh, converging ideas, you know, went well together for a while, but then they went off in different directions. And they couldn't settle it, and it's not what it is. It's dirty. It's that something has gone on, and the Braves have been getting investigated, which none of us knew. I didn't know. Did any of you guys know that the Braves have been getting investigated, and they weren't going to get away with it? And John Capolella just stood up and said, I, "Something here has gone on that we did. We knowingly did. We tried to hide it." And now he's the fall guy for it. And now he has resigned in disgrace. And John Hart is going to be looking for the next GM. I don't like it. It's dirty. For one, it was an international signing thing that they did. I don't like that at all. That I The whole thing, I think it's disgusting that MLB teams go into impoverished countries and they pull 15 and 16-year-olds out of it uh, and try and make them what they think is rich. Or at least, you know, in their livelihoods is rich you have a bunch of people that are trying to just get out of the united states for it and you have things like these package deals and there's so much sketchy things going on and it's not okay this isn't college basketball this isn't so and i don't want to hear about like this happens everywhere it happens i know that it happens and i don't want it happening in my organization i i don't like with the red sox doing this and you've seen that they've been thoroughly punished for what they've done in the international market and i don't want the team doing sketchy stuff on the trade market either I, if i were a padres fan i don't want aj preller as my gm if he's going to try and pull stuff like trading guys when they're hurt and not tell the other team about it it's not okay and you saw with the jaime garcia trade things were just off things were sketchy and it's not okay and if that's what Capolello was about, I'm glad he's gone. I don't want a sketchy GM. And the, the thing that's so disappointing about it is that I thought that he was so genuine. I thought that he was such a good guy. He came off to me as such a straightforward guy that was so earnest about his job and wouldn't have done things like this. And to me, he seemed like a different guy now than he did when he took the job, when we first met him, when he first took the job uh, back in 2015. That's not okay. Uh, I don't, I'm not okay with that at all, and if that's what this is, I'm not sad that he's gone. What I'm not okay with either is that what's going on with John Hart hiring the next GM. Because John Hart knew everything that goes on. So you can't tell me that John Capolella is going to be the fall guy for something that the Braves organization committed, that, which again, I don't want excuses on. I don't want to hear that it's 
something that everyone does, and I don't want to hear that it's something that they had to do. And you didn't have to have any of these guys. You wanted them. And look, I'm glad to have Kevin Maiton if, that, you know, if that's who this is around or something, but it's not okay, and it's not something that you should do sneaky stuff to get around. It's not acceptable. Uh, and Hart knew about it. Hart was fully aware and clearly compliant in it. So you can't tell me he's going to go and hire someone and make it clean. All right, my camera battery is, is going to die. Guys, I'm sorry, my life is, is falling into shambles. I'll get back to you in another clip. Charge the camera a little bit, uh, and I have a little bit of time. I have a little bit of battery before I have to go to class. Uh, but, you know, I did a little more research on it. Uh, so essentially, uh, it's that Hart is going to be filling in as the GM until uh, they find a suitable replacement. Who was finding that replacement? I don't know. A uh, couple things on Hart, though, is that I, I don't like him and I don't want him. Uh, if this is what was going on, Hart was involved with it. Uh, and people are talking about Capolella as though Capolella was the devil, uh, and it doesn't sound good. You know, I found the ESPN article that was essentially saying that there was, you know, obviously infighting, uh, and people were talking to the MLB about the way that Capolella was acting. That's not good, and that's really disappointing. Uh, because uh, from a fan's perspective, it seemed as though he was a really good, genuine guy, and it seems as though that's not what the case has been, uh, and he's been the cause of a lot of infighting this year. Um, Hart was not tied up in the corner while all of this sketchiness was going on. Hart was involved in it, and Hart was really kind of above Capalella in a way that he should have been handling it uh, if this is the case. Um, whatever the rules are that they broke, whatever any of this is, it hasn't come out yet, and it will come out, and I'll talk about it. When it does, you know, obviously the details will be very important. It's not good. I already know that. If it was... If it was not bad, Capolella would not have resigned. If this were something that could have been lasted out, you know, and we just lose international money or something like that, Capolella would have done this. I don't think that Capolella, based on what I'm hearing, it doesn't sound like he said, like, this isn't the job that I thought that I was signing up for, so I'm going to resign. I don't want this. That's not what's going on. This isn't like a Ron Washington situation where he comes back uh, in a little bit to be like, I had to deal with some stuff I got it dealt with. I mean, he might do that, but it sounds like Capolello's hand was forced. This is bad. I want Terry McGurk involved in order in cleaning all of this up, because this is really not okay. And the Braves need to do a good job of rectifying the situation uh, and making sure that this doesn't happen again and that this isn't an intrinsic problem with the organization, or else I'm going to have a problem with the organization. You're... Uh, everything is high stakes right now. You just moved the team from Turner Field to a new stadium, and you won 72 games. So it's not okay for any of this to be going on right now. The Braves need to step up, apologize for what they did, and show that things are improving right now because this is really unacceptable. This is not how I wanted to get back to making videos, and you know, I right now I have a quiz in two hours, and then the two tests, an essay. I pick up my mom. I want to get out this video as quickly as I can. Uh, I'm sorry, you can tell I've been moving, it's the first of the month, I got bills to pay, so much is going on right now, so this is not how I wanted to come back after going a couple, a while without a video, I promise you guys it's not because I didn't want to be making videos or anything like that, uh, I need some slack, as do the Braves likely would like some slack right now, just, uh, so I apologize for that if it seems as though I'm complaining or anything like that, um, I promise I will get more videos out soon. Uh, and I will address all of these things, all the things that uh, have been neglected. Uh, so again, I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate you guys being there, uh, waiting things out. Um, it's really important to me, uh, and I don't want you guys to feel underappreciated uh, because I appreciate you guys immensely. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. Braves Tom Blog, YouTube channel about the Braves. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and go Braves.